Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic FA. Today I'm going to talk about how to use Q component in the Robo Studio. Q component is one of the component of smart component and this one you can you can use multiple item you can control multiple items multi multiple parts at the same time. Let's have a look at the Robo Studio. Okay, um, edit, right click, edit component, and then compose, then you can add component, other Q, design, then you can see Q, and then the way you connect it here. This one first, copy the to back and execute it and queue. This is uh, how you connect it. So let's have a look at the, how it works. Play and then if you double click, then you can see the signal. DI create product and if you click once then you can see 17 click one more time then 18 19 20 21 something like that the at the front the 17 is our earliest number and the latest number is 21 always front and back like this so these all parts it can be controlled by Q. Okay, so this is how you add product into the Q memory. Okay, let, let me stop and delete again. <coughs> we go back to uh, view, then nothing is there, and move up, then uh, there's a one thing you need to do to move the older uh, queued component, uh, so queued parts, so you cl click linear mover. Then before before we select object product directly, but not this time. This time is Q two mover. Select. So Q2 mover memory is uh, applied type uh, one second and also you need to turn on the linear mover from the beginning and apply now it says Q2 memory is here so uh, if you add any item any item in the Q2 then that could be controlled by linear mover 2 okay let's have a look at the simulation now we start it and double click mover and you click uh, speed is too fast <laughs> uh, like this so uh, let me reset and then let me slow down the speed. Uh, move to uh, my computer sometimes stupid. Okay, let me get it one apply. Okay, done. And then, then you could see better. Now started create moving, 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 moving. So this is how you add like a add part onto the conveyor. Okay, stop and reset so here this is very simple 
this is uh, uh, not many connection but you can control uh, multiple parts in the like uh, uh, conveyor inside the smart component okay uh, thank you so much this is uh, all for today see you next video bye